eventually, in this process of constantly surrendering, are there possibilities of having subtler forms of ego where uh, you may feel that you're being guided, but it still may be the ego which is somewhere in a very subtle way trying to mold you? Is that, um, or am I? Uh, I don't know. The more you go into the truth, experience, acting from the truth, becoming an instrument of that truth, the more subtle the ego becomes, the more dangerous it becomes, the more it attempts to take you off this path of the truth, you know. So you have to be very, very vigilant. Like you have to be so vigilant that it's like a detective knowing, okay, uh huh, this is the ahankar, no, no, no. Bend, bend, bend. Don't go with the ahankar. Sometimes it's a very loud voice and sometimes it's very subtle. But the truth impulse is a material impulse. It is not an idea in the head, the antar guru, the antar atman. It's not an idea. It's not a nebulous energy thing. It's very present. It has a, a materiality to it and it impulses. So the way inward is to bend in that surrender. Observe what are you putting inside your mouth. Observe what are you allowing to escape your lips. What are you putting in? What are you speaking? What words are you uttering even? What are you surrounding yourself with? That's very important in that process. And if you're able to keep an eye on these few things, very soon the magical mystery tour starts. And then you're just so amazed by what this thing called living is revealing, because you can't even imagine what that is. No exciting football game can compare. No exciting movie can compare. Nothing can compare with that, literally nothing. Nothing that a human being has invented for entertainment can compare with the vibrancy that you experience when you live in that truth state. <coughs> so when the consciousness expands, suddenly what you thought you understand is not anymore what you understand. It's larger, it's brighter, it's more precise. And life becomes living. Moment to moment, you know. Not this thing dragging out in boredom, but moment to moment, vibrant, real, present, sensing the other, being in surrender. Do you get a feeling for what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. I do. <laughs>